Hello, today I'd like to show you my um, Led Zeppelin LP collection. I re uh, recently required these uh, over the last two years uh, in sealed condition. I bought most of them on eBay, um, a couple from Soundstage Direct, but they were all sealed copies. Not sealed anymore because I believe if you're going to collect records, uh, they need to be played. You can't really fully enjoy, enjoy them sitting on a shelf sealed. So I play my records and I look after them very well. One thing I will suggest to anybody who's collecting records, um, now for this video I've taken all the clear sleeves off, but uh, except for the first one. Purchase clear sleeves for your record albums. They will keep your album covers in mint shape, basically for as long as you want them. And uh, when you pass them on to somebody else later on in life, it'll look just as good as it does today. Um, secondly, a great investment is to uh, buy the inner sleeves, get the ones with the paper and the poly lining. They protect your records extremely well from scratches and dust and dirt. Um, all my records have these uh, inside and uh, the clear sleeves on the outside. Um, these records here are recent pressings and those of you who look for Zeppelin albums on eBay probably know what I'm talking about. They have this logo here, Quax SV-P, which is the logo for uh, classic records. All these records are exact replicas of the original albums as they were released in the year that they came out. <coughs> um, right down to the uh, the heavyweight covers. Like this album here, Zeppelin One, very heavyweight cover. Um, the big difference with this is is the actual record itself, which is a 200 gram record which is heavier than the original pressings. And uh, when they produced these records, they took the uh, original master tapes to create the sound on these albums. And I collected these albums when I was in my early 20s, way back in the, uh, um, way back in the early 80s. And I bought, I bought all the Zeppelin albums. And they're on a lighter weight vinyl. I can tell you that these sound so much better. It's unbelievable how much, how much better they sound. Uh, background noise is basically eliminated. You you very seldom hear a tick or a pop. It's just a very clean sounding uh, uh, pressing. Very limited. Uh, all these albums roughly came to uh, forty dollars a piece on average, uh, purchased on eBay. If you can find sealed copies of them now, the uh, value has escalated somewhat uh, significantly. So they are getting very scarce. And I do have one here. I'll show you that is uh, extremely scarce. Um, this one here, Zeppelin One, of course, the very first album came out in 1969. Great album. Um, actually, it's probably my second favorite album. Uh, this is when uh, Zeppelin first started. Robert Plant has no songwriting credits because I believe he was the last member to join the band. The songs had already been written for this album before he started. But fantastic album. Every song on here is uh, is a classic. Next album is Led Zeppelin Two. As I said, I took, the, I took the clear folders off just for this video. The Gatefold album, and this is my favorite album. It's by far my favorite album. It's, uh, it's bluesy like the first one is, but at the same time it's got some real solid rockers, a uh, whole lot of love, uh, Heartbreaker, Living Love and Made, um, The Lemon Song, and then a the great ballad, one of my favorite songs, uh, Thank You. Uh, excellent, excellent album. One of my all-time favorite albums, period. And uh, again, heavyweight vinyl, 200 gram, uh, it's superior pressing. Led Zeppelin 3. Just like your original album, it has a psychedelic wheel. Um, again, heavyweight uh, cover, heavy vinyl, and I like this album a lot. It, it really has what I would say no filler material, but it's a very laid back and psychedelic, as what the cover would uh, illustrate, uh, type, of type of album. And the songs are actually, if you're in a mellow mood, this is the Led Zeppelin album you should listen to. It's really, really good. Zeppelin 4, of course, everybody knows this one. It's probably one of the most familiar, familiar uh, album covers uh, out there. Um, with the huge hit Stairway to Heaven, Black Dog, and Rock and Roll. Um, the only negative thing I have to say about this album, and some of you hardcore Zeppelin fans will probably argue with me about it, is that there is one filler song in my mind on here, and that's Four Sticks. I never could understand that song, why it was on here. Uh, I really like everything else on here. I think the album is superb. It's great. Uh, but to me, that song just doesn't make it. But again, I know some of you 
would argue with me to the death about that, but uh, that's fine. That's just my opinion. Houses of the Holy uh, was the follow-up album to uh, Zeppelin IV. Again, really brilliant co um, colors in the cover, inside and out. Uh, heavyweight, 200 gram. Another superb album. Um, my favorites on here would be probably uh, No Quarter and Do Your Maker. Do Your Maker be being kind of like a, a strange Zeppelin song. And it's almost like a reggae tune, but uh, it really uh, did well for them. And uh, it's one of the favorites of all Zeppelin fans out there. Okay, stay tuned uh, for part two. Uh, and we'll finish off the, uh, the Led Zeppelin record collection on Classic Records.